Hey guys, welcome to Black Games United. Welcome to another video. And today, you know, I was gonna talk about Mateus Fernandez. I was, you know, but you know, it hasn't been confirmed yet. We know that a, a fee has been agreed with Palmeiras for about 11 million euros in total. And when it becomes official, I'll make a video about Mateus Fernandez. But today, I just saw this news that they were not new, like we all know that Arthur has been injured. He's supposed to come back actually in about a week and a, a week and a half month, a week and a half time from now. But we see that he's training and that he'll probably be at least on the bench for the game against Granada this weekend. So I want to know like exactly why. Like I, I know that sometimes you know doctors and Barcelona they. Or clubs in general, they just like to say that a player is going to be out for more for longer than what they actually will be, because as so you know, it's not going to be as bad, and the recovery seems to be good. But now that we're in the term of discussing the thing with Arthur, as you're going to be seeing in your screen, this is something very worrying to me, and it's something very worrying to me because, as you guys are seeing, Arthur left out by Valverde for snowboarding while injured. And if you guys want to see the news, just type Artur Melo snowboarding and you, you're going to see the news in us, as English. And you guys will be able to read the whole news. But overall, what it's saying is that Artur went snowboarding after the game against Atletico Madrid and, and, after, and, bef and after the game against Leganés. The thing is that it's very worrying because, as you guys know, Snowboarding is an activity that is completely restricted to a footballer. A footballer should not be doing. It should be prohibited to be doing snowboarding. Why? Because you can easily get injured while doing snowboarding. And the thing is that it's heard that Neto went with him. The difference is that Neto did no, did not engage in the activity. And apparently Arthur was injured and he still like, you know, he wasn't at 100% physically and he still went snowboarding. Apparently, that's why Ernesto Alverde decided to freeze him out of the squad. All for obvious reasons. And for this, Ernesto Alverde is completely right of doing this. Because you cannot be doing this. That's not an activity that you should ever be doing while playing football. Like, there is some. You can do most things while being a footballer. But in terms of your diet and in terms of the activities that you perform out of the pitch. There's just some things that you cannot do, and this is one of them. And the thing is that I I was seeing Artur with out with Neymar, and you know going out to parties generally overall. And the thing is, I'm not saying don't go out. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just saying, like don't don't do anything to harm your career. Don't like you have to become more professional. You because the thing is that. Artur, from what he did last season, he already apologized for what he did last season, which was going to the party of Neymar, to the birthday party of Neymar last year, when we had a game very close to that date. And he apologized and everything, and he said he will never do it again. But the thing is that, I don't want to hear words, I want to, I want to see you in action. And the thing is that, there, this is nothing against Artur, because I think Artur, for me, personally, before Messi came back into the team, uh, after his injury, Artur for me was the best player in the team. He was being absolutely unbelievable. Frankie Dion wasn't having his best games, not his fault though, but wasn't having his best performances. But Artur was scoring goals, giving assists, especially playing unbelievably well with the ball, generating play for us, allowing us to play some football. But that doesn't change the point that if Artur is gonna start having problems, and considering that Artur hasn't won a Champions League yet, that he's having this attitude with only winning La Liga and just arriving to Europe, it's very worrying to me that Artur is having this mentality. Again, if we can get the best Artur, I, ho I, can, I hope that he gets the end, he's able to get the best version of Artur, that he can convince him and, you know, let him know that, hey, a football career doesn't last that long, it's, it's a 10 to 15 year career. After that, you can do whatever the hell you want. You're still going to be young by the time you finish with football. But if you're playing football, you're a Barcelona, focus on your football, enjoy it. Enjoy the most that you can. But if we cannot convince R3, if there is no convincing him, if there is no getting him to professional terms, 
then I think we need to look somewhere else. I think we should sell Arthur somewhere else and look for another option. And this video would be exactly for that because there is a name that for me is one of the players I've always wanted Barcelona to sign. I mean, other than Kevin De Bruyne, but, but because of his age, that's not something that we sh I think we should approach anymore. But there's this player called Jose Mawar. You guys might know him. He's a player from Lyon and he's a French center midfielder who is absolutely world class. It's one of my favorite midfielders in world football. If we if we had to, if we had a space to sign him, for example, if we didn't have a player like Ricky Puch in the team, I would say go for Awar because as a center midfielder, he's probably my favorite center midfielder that's young and that is not a Barcelona player. Do I think that he's better than Artur? In some things he is. He's a little bit he's better going forward. Artur is more is better at dictating the tempo, but Awar can do that perfectly fine. He's a player that has really good technique, really good quality going forward and defensive wise he can help you in the press especially, which is exactly what we need. And I've never proposed him, uh, signing him because I think that with the young Artur and Ricky Puch, we already have those two center midfield areas covered. And if we were going to sign, you know, defensive midfielders, there's other options like Florentino Luis, I, like Sandro Tonali, like I've mentioned already. Although it seems like he's going to be going to Juventus or Inter. Like, we're going to probably sign Mateus Fernandez, we have Ludovic Reis, Oriol Busquets, Jandro Orellana, like, you know, that we have, we have options in defensive midfield, to be honest. Like, there's other players. But in center midfield, I believe in Alenia, but it's not the... It's not the exact same profile of center midfielder of Barcelona. Alenia is more of a, you know, number 10. Same thing goes with other players that we have in those kind of positions. But if we can get, if Artur, again, if Artur is not, if we cannot count with Arthur to be professional, or, and we can count on him because he's always going to be having these kind of problems, then for me, Uzema one needs to be the first option. I think you can get him for less than 50 million euros, considering that Leon let go of the likes of Lacazette for about 60 to Arsenal. He was the superstar of the team. I think Arthur is. I mean, I think that Awad is not going to command a better fee than the likes of Endombele. And I think that for 50, 60 million euros, if you can let go Arthur of a similar for a similar price. Go ahead and sign Awar because going forward he's better than Arthur. Okay, moving the ball around he's not as great because that's Arthur's greatest, you know, greatest trait, and he's probably the best in the world doing so. But again, it's a midfielder I absolutely love. I've been following him quite a bit, and if we all, if we could sign him, that would be absolutely amazing. And again, I think that I believe I believe in Tiki Puch, I believe in the young. But we need another midfielder of those characteristics. We need a player that we can trust in that position that we know is going to guarantee us success for the next 10 years. And I believe that at what it is out of that. He's only 21 years old. I believe that we could do deals, even with Leon, for players that we are not going to have in the team. For example, uh, it seems like Abel Ruiz is not a. It, they're going to probably sell Musa Dembele. They need more forwards. And the likes of Abel Ruiz could be an option to go sit down to Leon. I would raise plus money for Awar, sending maybe the likes of one of our center midfields that we don't use as much to Leon. Like, definitely, there's things that we can agree on, and this is just to capacity to you know think in the, for the future. Because as much as I like Arthur, we cannot be stuck with a player that is not gonna be giving a hundred percent for us. And this goes for the same for any player. If in the future the young all of a sudden which I doubt, it seems like he's very passionate about football, but if it seems like the the young all of a sudden doesn't care about football, that he just thinks that he's reached his peak and, and all, then you know we need to move him on. And if Ricky Puch thinks the same, we need to move him on. And if Messi ever wants to think the same, we need to move him on. Because it's Barcelona are, I'm gonna always appreciate what the players have given us, but as a club, as an entity, we need to think coldly we need to be cold with the decisions that we take and think what's the best for the club not what is the best for the players again i'm not saying that we need to sell artur we're not i'm not saying that artur is not that is there's no coming back for artur but i'm saying that we need to be aware of the situation we need to cap to think on what is the best for the club and if artur 
is not going to change his attitude, then I'm sorry, but there is not a player that is more important than the club, and that is my genuine opinion about the situation. Again, I was very surprised by hearing this, by, by, by reading this, because just snowboarding is like something that you shouldn't, like skiing, snowboarding, uh, like surfing, things like this are, are, are things that you can do perfectly fine after you retire from football. But not on your vacations, not while you're not while you're definitely not while you're playing games. It is something that is unexplicable, and I'm hoping that you know your t the teammates of Artur, Setien, the staff, the board, something someone can convince him of you know enjoy his football and enjoy being a Barcelona player. Because if we can get the best out of Artur, the best out of the young and Tiki Puch, we'll be able to get the best out of the team for sure. But with all said and done, leave me all your opinions in the comment section below. Comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, Blaugranas.